Today's Thursday, July 10th. I'm Vanessa Zamora with your Search Engine World Search Update. What do you do if you can't catch up to Google in the web search business? If you're Yahoo, you make available your search technology and data centers to outside developers in hopes that one or more hopefuls will develop a search engine atop the technology that gains traction. In exchange for providing the resources, Yahoo estimates that it would cost $300 million to build a search service from scratch. Search ads will be tied to those search engine services and equate to more money for Yahoo. The move, if successful, could also help create new competitors to Google, thus taking a portion of the search pie away from Google, which held 61.8% of the search market in May. The project, which is called BOSS and stands for Build Your Own Search Service, has two initial partners on board, Hakia, a natural language search engine, and Medium, which ranks web pages based on the real-time browsing behavior of other web users. How bad do you want the Apple iPhone? Eager Apple fans in Asia have shown they want the iPhone 3G pretty bad. Standing in line for days in wet, freezing weather conditions for the chance to be one of the first to walk device in hand out of the store and into the world. The Apple iPhone will de debut in 22 countries tomorrow, Friday, July 11th, and will roll out in a total of 70 countries by the end of 08. Not only will eager Apple fans have to wait to get the iPhone device, but reportedly Apple is doing all it can to ensure its app store that will let independent software developers and internet companies sell or give away applications for the iPhone and its offerings remain top secret until noon Eastern time today, perhaps to build more hype surrounding the release. The app store, which Apple's CEO Steve Jobs expected to launch with 200 software offerings, will instead release with more than 500. I'm Vanessa Zamora. For more information, visit www.searchengineworld.com.